at our board of tasks and decide what to work on. So the freight trains are having some issues. Um, Caboose token redelivery would be interesting. Um, this one would be fairly well. I need cobblestone actually for this, so maybe I should gather cobblestone at a smaller point because I'll need a bunch of caboose tokens. Um, we could do lost and found. That sounds good. So we're gonna actually add so that for this one, we need um, three chests, three double chests. Um, and we're gonna need tripwire hooks because they're gonna be side by side, so we need them to be able to stack up. Do, 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 do. Yeah, good. I already have some. Do, 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 do. Well, actually, what's in these chests? A bunch of random stuff. Hm. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right, let's make our double chests. We already have double chests. Let's make uh, two of those be trap chests. So we can put them over there. We're going to need signs to label them. Alright, let's put the chests in the wall. So I'm thinking just over here. So, like, here... Actually, what's on the other side of this? Nothing. Good. Welcome. Uh, is that Lego... Uh, Lego, Lego, -und? Lego, -und? welcome. Um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna put him here on this level, although I can't put a sign here because of that. So I guess maybe I'll put them down here. Um, so let's remove these. Welcome to the stream. And then just so we can work on stuff, um, I'm the only one watching. Yes, welcome. Um, actually, what we can do. To be able to get over to that side a little easier is we can actually finish off this path on the side. As long as we don't get too close to that. That should be fine. So we can do this to now we can make we can get around this corner a little bit more. Um, and this used to be our old design here. You love 1.9. What's 1.9? I'm on 1.12. So if you're is that what is 1.9 uh What's on the Xbox, maybe? Or is it, you just like the, before the shields and, is that before shields? I forget, I forget. Okay, so we're gonna put in those chests. So they're gonna be, oh, I guess. Welcome, little spooky. Something to consider is um, the way these things work. Uh, so I can't open up the chest if it's full blocks on top. And we don't have half slabs or stairs of these blocks. So we might inset these in, actually, which means we could put them here. Um, and so we'll put these other blocks back on the bottom. Um, for some reason, I'm missing one. I only have two. That's odd. I guess it fell over the edge. How are you doing, little spooky? We are... Working on this item. So the lost and found chest, cart, drop, and um, token drop off. Right click to block with the shield. Yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? I guess I don't really need the shield actually on my here. We, there we have more we have more real estate on the screen. Um So there we go. There's some of these blocks, good. And then I might actually want more of the polished granite. For this so let's also make some of those doing good I am doing pretty good uh, been a pretty pretty productive day today at work let's put uh, so these guys oop, that's something I want these guys are on the bottom and then up on the top here what we'll do is we're gonna inset this in so we're actually going to add a couple more there just so it's harder to see the rest of the stuff we'll put in these chests here Trap chest, and then regular chest again. And then what we want is to continue the same pattern. So we're gonna take the granite and bring it over to the side, and then bring that over the side. So we're just trying to cover up, about, you know, so you, you can't really see um, as well. Oh, I can't do that. 
Uh, so I might do a similar block color because I don't want it to be open up there. So let's see, let's try just regular smooth stone and then we'll try smooth stone brick. And we'll see what is, um, I guess that would be slab. So I, I will use bricks. So we're gonna use, there we go. Conveniently, we already have stairs. This is regular. Uh, this whole train system is a reg regular vanilla Minecraft. Um, so let's actually pop up here. And then so on top of these, we'll put in stairs. And the hope is, oh dear. <laughs> here, give me this to get up. The hope is um, that we're able to, so that's not too bad, but actually I, I probably will build a back on it entirely. Um, but we'll come back to that. So then what we want to do is which chests make sense for the different things. So we're going to have lost and found. So I guess lost and found, I feel like that would be the last one. So we'll do lost and found. So whatever items go through the system aren't tokens and then will be brought up to that chest. And then the next one will be um, chest uh, minecart. I guess extra, extra chest minecart. So I want to make sure that they're put in chest minecarts, not other minecarts. And this one is going to be extra rail tokens. Okay. So now we can plug all those things in. Um, what we'll probably want to do, we'll, we need to find a lot of hoppers. Which are probably actually, I think we have a whole bunch in these chests downstairs. Yes, there's a bunch. Um, there's some few more. Okay, that's good for now. So the first thing we could, all right, I guess we should set up. Uh, we should get furnaces because we're going to put down a bunch of hoppers. So we might as well prep and get our furnaces to cover up the hoppers. Ready to go. Good. Welcome, uh, Tereshiva. Welcome. I, I had, I was, I want to make sure I pronounced it wrong, or right. I want to pronounce it right, not wrong. I am doing good. How are you? We're working on a, this is a huge rail system. Um, and right now we're working on the, uh, some of the drop off chests. Okay. Tara, that sounds good. Um, yeah, so this is, uh, so like it's a thing where you can pick your destinations. Right now there's only two destinations programmed in. Um, but then this will take you to some other destination. And it goes, uh, it makes a smart, it's smart train. So the first one is an engine which has tokens. So as you approach the intersection, it tells the intersection which way you actually want to go. And then your whole train will go that direction. And then at the end you have a caboose, or actually a caboose there, which will tell the intersection this is the end of the train. And so then the intersection will reset itself. So this is a couple extra. Welcome, uh, Lord of the Undead. Um, so this this thing here is. Um, <laughs> um, so this one here, yeah. So this one here is um, is some extra drop off stuff. So if when you when trains arrive, um, sometimes there might be items that get, you know a, tra a train goes in the wrong spot. So as things arrive, they get emptied out, and all these things happen um, underneath. So if we look over here. So there's all this stuff going through here. And th these are like, as you check, pick your destination, tokens drop out from underneath here. And then there's, this is the launching mechanism here. And then this is where the carts are emptied as they arrive. Um, so if, if the, if you end up with extra tokens for some reason upstairs, yes, it, it's pretty big. Um, and this is only, so if we pop out over here, we can see a little bit more. So then there's two layers of these um, in there, and then there's a bunch of other redstone down below. Um, and that's all just, that's for the, like the whole train mechanism thing. Um, so what we want to do is if there's extra tokens upstairs, we'll do the, fir the first one, which is the easiest one. We'll do that first. So what we want to do is actually get, oh God, I'm done here. Okay. I can get up. <laughs> it's a hard hat area. You have to, that's a little bit dangerous. Um, this is, yeah, so this is a train. I, well, I'll take a quick trick um, ride. It does it won't necessarily work for sure. <laughs> um, so what you do is if you want to go to the South Port Hypermine uh, Station, 
you hit this button, and then for the sign, you wait 30 seconds for your, for the carts to actually arrive. So we come over here. Um, I, usually, I'd hop in a cart right away, but I will back up so you can see um, see it come in. The items have to go through into carts, and then those carts have to arrive. So then that's the caboose, and then the engine. So if we look in the caboose, it has some tokens indicating basket rail caboose. So it, it, th those items tell the train line that that's a caboose. And then over here we have, this shouldn't be there, we have uh, engine engine thing. Thank you for the follow, uh, dog tags. Um, so here we have, so it's, it's an engine, and then when you get to intersection one, you want to go east. When you get to intersection two, you want to go north, is what that's what that's saying. So you hop in, and then you can say hit the go button, and then your train goes. So each of the carts of the train are spaced because you can't actually attach carts together. So it, it ends up you have this whole train. There's a lot of space here because you can actually have multiple people or multiple freight cars and stuff. But over there's the caboose. So then this goes along the rail line. And then we're heading into South Port Hypermine Station. We're heading into Hypermine or a Hyper Hypermine or Hyper Port Hypermine. There we go. Um, we're heading over there, and then there's the South Station that's there. And also coming up here, something to note is that there's a there's a rail crossing. So as the train goes through here, this intersection detects that there are, there are trains. These things come up. There's noises you can't hear my music, and then the the side things come up. And then once the train goes through. Those all drop down. This is the what I've been working on for the last on the server for, um, and the last year or two. <laughs> it's a lot of different stuff. And then we have coming up um, is is the first intersection. So this thing is usually you default to going to the right, but because it grabbed a token, it knows that you wanted to go straight. And then now we've arrived at this station. So this is a, a condensed version. So there's some less options. Uh, you can hit, you can't have as, as large carts. Um, but then if we take a look, this one is the first one I made. So it's a little bit more, uh, you know, congested. There's like it's harder to move around uh, and see everything. So this is <laughs> there's a lot of different stuff that's going on in here. Basically, it's it's letting the carts arrive and then sorting them out so that it pulls out the engines and the cabooses. And then freight cars and chest mine carts and then regular carts does a bunch of stuff. And there's even more stuff as we go down. I'll take a quick little tour. So then on this layer here, this is where the engine and the caboose. And everything works perfectly. Like, for some reason, this cart's here. So I'm still debugging some stuff. That cart shouldn't be there. Um, so the engine and caboose. Uh, engine, or caboose is there. Engine. There we go. It's right there. Okay, I was going to say. So there, for some reason, there was an extra cart, and it was stopping the cart, the caboose, from getting there. Oh well. And then we have coming down here. Uh, we have a stack of chest mine carts that are all loaded in. Welcome, uh, uh, airy, airy painter. Welcome. Um. And so there's a whole line, line of chest mine carts for that whole thing. But anyway, so now let's head back to, <laughs> like, with a follow, uh, airy painter. Appreciate it. Let's head back to the main station and we'll work on those three chests that I was talking about. Now that you have an idea of uh, what it is we're making. So this uh, goes down to, yeah, it goes, yeah, so this entire, this structure here is a slice, uh, it's like, I think 13 by 22, and then it goes all the way down to bedrock. And so the structure on top is, you know, just this train station, right? Um, and so you just come into the train station and then, you know, you do, assuming it, it works all the time, uh, then you would just say, okay, I want to go to Basket Rail Station. Or, you know, Basket Station, the main station. So you hit the button. Um, and then again, there's a little bit of a delay after you hit the button because it needs to drop items through and do a bunch of stuff. Um, and then eventually your engine will pop out there. So we'll get a chest, or a passenger cart. We can look at this to see. This is saying it's an engine. When you get to intersection two, go south, which is the one that's actually just right over there. And then over here, we have another thing that has a lot of tokens for some reason. Uh, it seems more than that seems excessive anyway, um, and then it says uh, that it's a caboose So that tells the thing it's the end of the train. So we hit the go button And then we'll travel back through the same rail we just saw And we'll get to the main 
station, and we can work on those two chests, or three chests. But this is my my patented, patent pending <laughs> uh, uh, rail system that I, I came up with. I mean, there might be similar stuff out there, but this particular one um, I came up with. And I don't really have patent pending. <laughs> I don't know if you can patent uh, Minecraft stuff. Probably not. So we'll arrive at the main station. And then I can show you... So as you arrive, it kicks the players out. And then all the other carts, they drop down. And then they get sorted out and into the proper areas. So we're arriving to the big mall at Basket Station. And then we turn up here. And then the, that goes through and the caboose will come through in a second. And so those all go down there and then they get sorted out. So let's work on. <laughs> so the first thing I, that's really easy to set up will be the extra rail tokens. So this is if for some reason you had a cart up here um, that had the caboose tokens or whatever, and you wanted to just put those back into the system um, instead of like throwing them on the floor or something. You, you wanted them to, go, to be, go back through and potentially be put back into the right spots. So that's the middle one. So let's go over there. So what we want is this middle one. We just need to run a hopper chain going down. So um, the easiest way... Well, now, I, now at least I can see, see where the hole is. So... What we want to do is this is the input, and so we want to go over one. We don't want to be run into this because this is a powered light, and we would have problems with locking if we did that. But we can go, um, let's go up two. Um, we're still away from that, I think. Uh, we want to go up two just so we can walk underneath this. And then we'll come over, and I think we can probably just come straight over from here. I don't think we'll run into issues with locking. So then we'll go over a little bit more. And then we can bring that down. There. So that should be, that should work. We can test it out. Um, so we'll put the furnaces on top to avoid leg issues. And we probably don't need torches, but um, actually, yeah, I'll do this for torches because I don't want torch uh, smoke to come up over that. But we'll do this for the leg, uh, possible leg issues. And then we can put that one on top. There we go. And then let's test it. So what we want to do is, for now, what I'll do is I'll break this one. Uh, the hopper is going to suck up the other hopper, but that's fine. So I have I have more hoppers on me. So now we want to just verify that things actually go from A to B. So extra rail tokens. Uh, we actually do have caboose tokens, so that works great. So I'll put it in the caboose tokens. It's a trap chest, so while I have it open, it's not going to filter out. But now I've closed it, so they're actually filtering through. Make sure that it actually gets down to here. They do. Awesome. So then we can just hook it back up. And now those tokens will go back through. So if there's ever extra uh, basket rail tokens, then uh, you're able to send it through. Thank you for the follow. Uh, Gamer Girl. JZ. Uh, Alright, so that's set up. Next we want to... Lost and Found, I think, is probably the next easiest. So we'll, we'll set up that. Um, so what we'll need for that is actually moving items up from down below. Well, thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, I stream, um, at the same time, uh, for during lunch breaks, uh, but basically every day. Not next week, actually. I'll be out of town, but, um, most days. So, yeah, we want droppers to go up, send the signal up. Let's get rid of some stuff. Uh, we don't need this anymore. Um... I need to reduce the amount of things I have in my inventory. I won't have as many of these, so I can put some of those back. And we'll just throw some stuff in this chest. Oh, in this chest. Do I have a YouTube channel? I do have a YouTube channel. I think that... Um, I forget if YT works. But anyway, uh, yeah, that is my YouTube channel. Um, I have lots. I have uh, nearly, almost 2,000 videos on there. So if you're ever bored, there's plenty of stuff to watch. <laughs> um, all right, we'll put the carts up here. I'm just trying to make some room because I'm about to grab some more redstone. Um, 
if you're looking for anything in particular, uh, the Team BS, um, my buddy and I, we play a lot of uh, Complete the Monument maps, and that's a lot of fun. We have a pretty good dynamic if you're looking for something like that. Um, all right, so we want comparators, repeaters for um, for doing that signal. Uh, oh no, yes, this is PC. Sick kitty, oh no. That's not good. Hopefully it's just like hairball sick and not like anything worse. Um, okay, I think we have all the things we probably need. So let's go take a look at what we're trying to do. So we need to um, food sick. So this lost and found needs to be populated with stuff that has gone through all of these hoppers. So items come down, they go through all these here, and then they get to the end. This thing actually can expand a lot more, but I don't have it all hooked up. And then it goes down. Um, does it work on laptop? Does this, uh, does Minecraft work on laptop? Um, yeah, and then this also, this particular thing um, is, um, is you know, you could play on a laptop. Um, they eventually, so they get sorted through the bottom layer, and then they come through here. This thing grabs all of the, uh, all the engine tokens. All the engine tokens go in there, then all the caboose tokens go in there, and then everything else remaining ends up in these chests. So this is just sort of the miscellaneous stuff that didn't fall into place. So what we want to do is then take all of this and then move it up to that chest up there. So let's look at our real estate. Probably moving it in there will be the easiest if we move it um, along there. I should have brought more blocks. Uh, I guess these blocks will be okay. Do we have, uh, what blocks do we have in here? Oh, look at that, this is great. <laughs> we can shop in our last and found. Um, there's cobble in the chest, yes. Yeah, true, I, I like to use most of the stuff I'm building uh, on these structures. I'm trying to use um, uh, smooth stone brick, which actually worked out because there's a bunch already in this chest. So let's just throw, we don't need the sign right now, the levers, we don't need the lever, um, or we don't need that. Okay, so now we have some extra stuff. So we'll, we're gonna bring this over. So for now, what I will do is just get some blocks so I can walk around. Um, don't uh, don't do redstone on cobblestone. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. For walking around. Right. Right. Welcome to the server. Yeah. So on the server right now is uh, Captain Q and I. All right. So the, the signal's gonna come over this way, and then we're gonna bring it into um, a thing over here. So let's look at our space. So there's a little bit of a, a couple things we want to avoid. But if we come, if we occupy this space here, because it's going to be a, um, I think that's going to go up top is going to go is going to be basically a two by two. Um, I'm not going to do a glass item elevator or anything like that for now. So it's two by two, and we can avoid getting into this. Um, so the actual, so it's going to be here, and so this right here, uh, which I think is actually one block over. So this is where the the actual droppers will be. So let's get our droppers, and I could just uh, go up, right? Oh, actually, it's gonna be sorry, it's gonna be a two by two by three. So perhaps we want to go one more. Okay, we'll, we'll go one more. So this will be the droppers going up, and then we can avoid that. Possibly will be in the way. Um, if we do, let's see, so one, two, I don't want to run into that. We can move that lever if we need to, we can move it over one. So, um, hello, you love the stream? Awesome, well thank you. Um, so let's come up this way. We have a lot of room before we're visible, so right now this is still behind the walls. And for now, I don't know exactly how high we want to go, but we're higher than we need to right now. Uh, but we also want to be able to get around. So this line will eventually run into hoppers that will run into that first chest there. Um, so now we can pop down here, and we will uh, we'll have to set up um, a clock on this at some point. So for now, we will set up a. Um, I think actually with. No, that'd be fine. Yeah, I was gonna say we have to be able to get signal to it, but we will be. I think we'll be okay with that. 
So let's run hoppers. Um, I think you'll need some chest storage at top. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, I'll probably have to add in a couple more. Right, so maybe it makes sense to have this a little bit higher because I, I can have uh, extra chests beyond just the one. That's a good point. Um, so we'll bring that into the side. And then we can bring this over to here and then bring into that one. And then we can change this one's direction to now go this direction. Okay. And then we want to... Actually, I guess I don't really want these to interfere. So here we have ladders on that. So I don't really... Well, here we can do... Because uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to have alternating blocks going up here. So I don't really want this to be powered. So if we... Um, I missed the beginning of, so we are building a, this is a big rail station, so it's like a big, um, you, did, you know, you can pick your destination, the whole train will go there and everything, uh, up top. And this is the lost and found, so there's a bunch of tokens for the whole thing to work right, and all those go through the system, anything else left over ends up in lost and found. So right now we're making lost and found to hook up to the top. Maybe dig into the wall, that's true, I guess, yeah, that's true, I guess I, I'm not really restricted to just this space here. Um... And in fact, I guess, yeah. So I, I don't want to have these quite where they are. Um, so, right, maybe what I'll do is just bring these in to the side here. That's probably a better better route. Because I'm not really restricted to this space. All right, let's get our stuff in the bar. <laughs> build a rocket. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. If I could build a rocket to just move all the items. Um, okay, so here, now we're going to have on this side here, actually. So these these blocks, let me get the right thing on my bar. This is where the uh, alternating thing will be. Um, and so our clock is actually going to be hanging out here. We're still okay, we're not running into these guys. Because this is going to only go down one block here. So we're okay there. Um, so I think we can just bring these over now. And we will change this one's direction again. Uh, I think I will... Thank you for the follow. Uh, Nina's uh, dad, welcome. So we're gonna put this here. And now the items will flow over that way. We'll go into the bottom here. And then we want to have our clock. So we're gonna see, do we have items in there? Um, if we do, then stop the clock. Um, the clock we're going to build uh, over in this area here. So we'll need a little bit more of these blocks. Um, this isn't the, probably the most elegant way of doing it, but it's good enough. Um, so then we're going to want to have a clock that's going to hit this guy. And actually, I might want to go like that. So that's the first one here. So there's going to be a signal that's going into that. And we'll add a little bit of a delay on it. We can... I need redstone dust. Doo -doo -doo. Last time I was in a train station, I got lost. Oh no! That's no good. Um, so we'll do this. So now this, this clock is stopped. Currently, if we drop an item into here, uh, it does not do what I want. So it didn't detect. I think it's because it's running into this. So let's actually switch this over. I'm going to build this clock a little bit different. So what we're going to do is put um, our block. Here. Maybe. No. I don't like that either. We're going to uh, put this block here and that there. And then put a repeater into that block with a delay. Uh, where do lost children go in your world? In my world? Uh, there, We don't have any children, I don't think. <laughs> so, I don't know. That didn't work either. Oh, it's because it stopped right now. That's fine. So that, that I think will work. 
So now, if we have put an item into here, yeah, good. So then that has moved the item up. It didn't move very far up because we haven't built the rest of it. So now, what we want is a lot of these in our bar. So let's make a bunch of redstone torches. And then we can add an alternating pattern of these. So we want to, um, I guess that's in the way. So we'll move this over. Let's move it over a little bit. Probably more than we need to, but I don't want it to be in the way. So let's get hoppers. Um, so is that, we'll bring, we'll bring it all the way over there. Why not? So we can bring this over here just to get it out of the way. And then connect it up. Okay, there we go. My, now it's out of the way. So now what we're going to do is put in um, these guys. So we're going to, we're sending the signal into here. And what we want to do is we want to have a series of back and forth. Um, so there's a torch on either side. So it's lighting up the opposite going all the way up. And then all the ones that are against the droppers, we're putting on a torch there. Uh, what is the red thing? Uh, the These right here? Or these things? Uh, these are, it's all redstone. So um, that's probably the answer. Is that it's a part of the redstone for the mechanisms? Yeah. So these uh, these are redstone torches I'm putting on right now. And that's, uh, that allows me to take the opposite of a particular signal. I almost forgot that one. Um, all right, so we can come up here torch and something's on top of my head that's not that's not good <laughs> I will have to move this I guess somehow I miscalculated where I was building this and it's supposed to be over one more can I adjust it you got redstone torches yeah redstone dust redstone blocks all kinds of redstone uh, okay do I want to move it over one no I will move the rail there's no reason the rail has to be right here okay um, so that rail we will replace in a second. All right. So we're going to continue our pattern. Um, so we want to come up here. Put on. Don't forget our torch here. Like that. Basket is the redstone king. <laughs> yeah, welcome, Mick. I try. There are better there are there are better kings out there, but I am I'm pretty good at it. I'm no uh no um zip crowd server, but or um what's the other one? Uh Il Mango, I think is how it's pronounced. He is some crazy, crazy cool stuff. Um I always thought I had big redstone projects. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is this is actually a fairly large project. Um it's not necessarily like the most co compact or efficient or anything like that. But it mostly works. It t typically works. <laughs> um, it doesn't always work. I'm still working out some of the bugs. Okay, so um, I think we'll want to go up some more. So let's go ahead and put in, keep in putting these guys in um, as we go up. Um, can you make a mom who loves... Uh, understand. I'm confused. Yes, it is giant. Okay, like that. And I think that we um, will go a little bit more on this. So let's actually get some more droppers. Like that. And then we'll go like this. So we'll go just a little bit more up. Okay. And now that by default is unpowered. So that, that's good. I think that's where we will stop. So now we want to bring the hopper signal all the way over there. Um, so what we might do, um, just so it's easier to know where to put the blocks. Where's this line up to? So it lines up uh, right above, so it's lining up to the top of that. Does that help? Yeah, because I can line it up to that. Okay, so let's go all the way over there and build the, um, the hopper train coming all the way over. So it starts, it's going to come all the way over to here, right next to our ladder. Okay. And so this one's going to be pointing in the wrong spot, but we'll leave that as it is for now. 
So this comes all the way over. To here. And then to reduce lag, we're putting furnaces on top. Droppers are technically better. Um, but uh, the, the hoppers, they have a tendency to make lag because they're trying to do a lot of stuff. So if you put hoppers, if you put furnaces on top, or what's actually better is droppers, that helps out with the leg. Um, okay, so now we this one's pointing in the wrong direction, so we'll replace that one. And then what you want is this first one here is going to be where it's going to mainly be. Um, so let's actually do a little bit of extra redundancy, because this one, this one chest will be pretty full. Um, so we're going to add in more than one uh, uh, going into it. So let's go like this. Um, chest is slightly smaller than a block, so I can't, there we go. And then we'll add just some regular chests on top. Um, and then what's over here? Okay, so we'll, we'll add one, uh, one more. Um, can't, can't quite place it. <laughs> there we go. And then one more chest on top of that. And then, we can add in more later if we want, but this should be good for now. So we'll add a hopper pointing into that. Again, I can't place it. There we go. And then we can bring this up. Um, to line up with this. Okay, so that's good. So now we can snake this around this way. Like that. And then again, furnaces on top to avoid, to help reduce lag issues. And then this is spawnable block, so we want to make sure we put torches on top of those so they don't spawn any bad guys. So that's already connected all the way into that. So in theory, if we drop all the way down here, uh, and this thing we've hooked up, but we don't have any furnaces on top, so let's do the furnaces. Um, and these two blocks are... should be furnaces. So we have furnaces. Like that. Hello, dog tags. Welcome. I feel like you were already here. I already said welcome to you earlier. Well, welcome, welcome more. Or at least maybe different dog decks. Okay, so now that's all hooked up, uh, probably. So, if we come down here, and now we can take. So this is the line that comes through. Oh, I had a whole thing where it looked like they were all pointing the wrong direction. <laughs> if you stand on this angle, it looks like this is it's pointing that direction. Anyway, um, so now all these things are in the wrong spot. So let's take all of these. I just threw something on the ground, an accident. So now if we just put it into here. Um, and we look, we'll see these things start alternating because they're moving items up to the top. So this particular item elevator design is a little bit laggier than like a, a, a glass glass item elevator uh, sort of thing, but um, this one won't be running too often. Um, the lost and found, in theory, shouldn't really run much if, if everything's working properly. But So now we can take a bunch of these different random blocks that we want to not have down here. And we're going to throw them into these hoppers. So let's do that. To, oh, I, oh, wait. Don't, don't take those away. That reminds me. I need to fix some rail. So do we have random rail in these chests that I can take? Nope. Okay. We broke, we broke a rail up top that we need to fix before I forget. Uh, let's figure out the best way to get there now. Because uh, we've gotten rid of this whole section. Let's go this way. <laughs> And we'll probably need to pick up some rail. So let's pop into my little supply shed over here. Uh, get some powered rail or regular rail or whatever's available. Nope. Nope. Uh, rail. Oh. <laughs> We're a little low on rail net. Oh, yeah, there we go. Just some regular rail. Okay. So now let's go uh, back out into here. And we want to get back up to that thing we broke. Which I think. If I go on top of this, I think I should be able to access. Yeah, it was that there. Okay. So we need to make this thing work and just go around this corner. Um, so let's get regular blocks. We can go like that. We will uh, make this just be a powered rail just to make sure that it's all powered up. We don't want to interfere with this thing's mechanism. Um, so this one will have to be a curved rail. 
curb rail, curb rail, and then we want cobblestone uh, to be able to uh, um, let's get some cobblestone. <laughs> we need to make some levers to power those different rails we just put in there. So here's some cobblestone. These are actually tokens, so we might leave those ar around. Here's some cobblestone. Good. And now, oh, I don't have enderpearl. I was gonna just enderpearl up there. All right, so then you go a little higher to get there. And that's this rail here. So now cobblestone. Switch. Uh, I think three should be plenty. So that we want to power this block. And that won't interfere with this. Because this one, this block, doesn't talk to those. And then this here, we can power. And that'll be fine. And then over here, we want to power this. Okay, there we go. So now that's all set up. Uh, we dropped a bunch of items inside of there already, uh, but we can put in some more while we're down here. We can make sure it works okay. Um, so, uh, we, dro we grabbed a bunch of cobblestone already. But we can go in here. Cobblestone, cobblestone, another rack. So, eventually I'll slowly migrate all of this, mostly garbage, <laughs> uh, to go into the proper chest. I guess one thing I could do temporarily is I could put a chest on top just to be able to drop in a lot of things. Or if I clean up my inventory for other stuff, then I wouldn't. I guess all this is going upstairs anyway. So let's do this. We're gonna have just another input chest on top of this. Just to make our lives a little bit easier, a little bit, make this process a little bit faster. So this is another spot where you can put stuff in and it will go up top. So we'll do that with all of our redstone and random things. Uh, we'll keep some of our items on us that we like to keep. Uh, these can go away. Okay, good. So now we have more more space. And then some of the stuff is stacked, so we can get it pretty easy. Do, 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 do. New recipes unlocked. Oh, enderpearls I like, actually. Let's keep those on us. <laughs> do, 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 do. So we're just putting all this random stuff in here. It'll go up top, and then I'll have to sort it out up there. Um, so we're not really solving this clutter problem. We're just relocating it. Do, 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 do. Whoa, in all caps, I can't even read what you're saying. Um, and then since you're since you're in all caps that I couldn't read, it was all uh, inappropriate. I have a, I've banned you. <laughs> you. You don't even get a warning. You, you knew. You knew what you were doing. All right. Do, 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 do. So some of the stuff, like these wooden swords and stuff, I'm not really gonna actually keep long term. So I could just put those on the floor to, d to disappear. <laughs> we're almost there. Might as well get rid of these chests while we're down here. So, I mean, that'll mean the stuff upstairs is all the way full, but... So these, we're actually just going to queue onto the floor. So they're gone. In five minutes. Now we need some more space. <laughs> Oops. Oh, that'll work. Not what I wanted, but I think that'll work. There we go. <laughs> a little, a little makeshift uh, storage place. Okay, so we can, now we can throw even more stuff in this chest.
uh, and actually this cobblestone. Okay, I'll put those over there. Do, 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 do. Okay, so this is all done. We can get rid of that. And then that hopper will just fall, I guess. We can get rid of these. Get rid of that hopper. Goodbye. And this chest is gone. I have a lot of stuff on the server, so I'm not too worried about those couple chests. Okay, good. We're all set. So these items, these things eventually I'll, I'll replace and get rid of. But now we have lost and found. So any any carts that arrive that for some reason ended up in the engine uh, unloading, engine and, and caboose unloading area uh, will end up having its items emptied and then moved into the lost and found. I feel like that's not very... I mean, that's some items. So that's promising. But I feel like something's broken. These are not alternating. So we are not done yet. This comes. This is unlit. Oh, I see. This is connecting... Okay, hold on. We need uh, one more block. Right here. Oh, I really wanted that redstone. Okay, uh, is there redstone... In here somewhere. Probably. Oh yeah, look at that. I put it all in my there we go. So this redstone desk goes on top of this. And now we fixed it. <laughs> what was happening is that this thing was sending a signal powering this that we were trying to take the opposite of to stop the clock. But it was also sending a signal to the side and messing up that. So now now we have our clock going up and sending all the items up top. There we go. Perfect. Let's go back up top. And observe our items going into the right spot. So now if we look in last and found. And actually, we have a little bit of a frame rate issue. So if we look. So because that thing is running. Where's my frames on the screen? Oh, up top. So because this thing is running. I guess it's our. I mean, I have 50 frames. So that's not too bad, actually. But um, but I, I mean, I can feel. I can feel the difference. I can feel it being a little laggy. So this thing here is emptying out all those items from the lost and found, coming up top and being delivered into that chest. And now, if we had any extra caboose tokens, which we don't, we can put into here, and then that would be delivered into that that same spot. This one, we're not going to get all the way done with uh, today, I don't think, because it's a little bit more complicated. But what we're going to do is we need to have a spot. There's a big stack of chest mine carts in this corner. So we jump over here. So in this far corner, there's a. It's actually not super full, but there's a there's a stack of chest mine carts um, that that are inside of there. That when you request an engine and caboose replacement, empty carts go in those spots to collect more items. Uh, and then this thing could be a huge stack that comes all the way up. And there's, I guess it wouldn't come up this high. The the highest spot it actually drops them off is here. So that's the first one it drops them off. There's a couple other spots where they could potentially be put in there. But what we want is... Um, I actually don't want anyone to ever fall in there. <laughs> so let's just do that. Um, what we want is that anytime the amount of carts that are in the system is less than, let's say, here. Uh, so there's going to be a tripwire hooks on either side. And if it, if it is not triggered there then it will release a chest minecart from uh, actual like a, a chest that has a bunch of chest minecarts. It'll actually release that onto a track, send it up to here and move it over there. Thank you for the follow uh, winning uh, sleet. Welcome. Actually, uh, shout, uh, uh, a shout out to my advertisement. Um, the, uh, so this, welcome. Uh, so this Friday, uh, during my Friday stream, um, from in celebration of my um, my uh, 750 uh, follower goal. I'm actually going to be giving away uh, Steam gift cards. So um, they're going to be. It's going to be a raffle. So it's going to cost a little bit of uh, you know virtual points from from watching streams with me uh, and sharing the stream and things like that. Um, but just to give you guys a heads up, so if you come back on Friday and you have points in your follower, then you could enter into those and potentially win Steam gift cards. Okay. 
Um, yes, and you have you have quite a few <laughs> quite a few redstone there. A little spooky. <laughs> um, yeah, so you only have thirty right now. So like, if you tweet out the stream, uh, then I go through, and if I can if I can match it up, then I'll I'll give you hundred points for that. Otherwise, just watching the stream, and there's also I think heist is the command. You can do gambling, so uh, you have a chance of losing or or gaining uh, gaining uh, points. Okay, um, so so we need to bring in a signal into there, and then the hopper chain in question is going to be somewhere or down here. Probably, actually, it doesn't have to be all the way down there. Since we're talking about there, I can actually do the detection here. It could send the signal up and drop them off here. So let's actually build it up here. All the other ones I built down below, and then have to send them up quite a ways. So let's actually just hook it in right here. We got rid of all of our rail. Um, so that's a problem. But and all of our redstone. <laughs> but we can we can we can fix that. So let's say that we're actually gonna build it so it's hooked into right here. So what we want to do is um, we can build it into the wall, maybe. I don't think we'll have any problems with slimes. So let's build it into this wall. I purposely, this whole thing here, this big huge hole, is avoiding all slime chunks. I really didn't want slimes to be in my, it don't work at all. Um, I don't want slimes to be in my redstone. Well, I guess we'll go this way. So I've, I've, I picked these chunks in particular to be in right, uh, roughly the location I wanted, but then also avoiding um, avoiding slime chunks. So we'll dig a little space in here for the mechanism. Um, we will want to pick up some supplies. So we'll need a dispenser and then hoppers. So let's see if we have any of those items around. All my hoppers I just threw into the lost and found. <laughs> um, we have furnaces. We have droppers. We want one, two, three. Uh, and cobblestone. Cobblestone. Redstone. Uh, okay, that'll work. Let's make a dispenser. Do, 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 do. Dispenser. Boop. And so that will be there. And then we'll need rail. Um, so let's get some iron. We'll make some rail. And then uh, we're also going to need some power rail. But I guess we can s steal that from Lost and Found at some point. So, I mean, all those things are sorting through. But I, uh, I threw them all into Lost and Found. So very slowly they're sorting through. <laughs> And that's just, I mean, I can't. I won't be able to really find them very easy. Uh, well, I guess we'll come back to that. So, we're not going to be able to finish the whole thing anyway. What's going to happen is, um, right here, say here, um, we're going to have a junction. So let's make sure this is going to go the right way. Okay, yeah, so the default action here, as it comes this way, it's going to go straight. Also, over here, um, so we're going to have this here, and then we're actually going to replace this one with a powered rail at some point. But when this one is triggered, it will send, um, it'll it'll dispense a chest mine cart, once there are actually some in here. Dispense a chest mine cart that will go down into the stack here. And then eventually it'll trip the tripwire that we're going to put in to indicate that we have enough. We have sort of a, a minimum amount of chest mine carts we want in the system. You have a power rail in your inventory. I do. Look at that. Good point. Good point. Thank you. Okay. So this one we actually don't have to power, because when the, when we power this thing to dispense one, it's going to also power this, and then it'll go. Uh, we do want a lever. Oh, we do have a cobblestone. Oh, nice. We do want to repower these. There we go. Um, and then what we want to do is we want to clock on this. So we don't have those things. Um... So what we could do is we could take a peek down here in some of these to see if by chance, oh yeah, look at that, we found this, we found some. 
We're going to steal some supplies from our... <laughs> okay, that's probably, that's probably good enough. Oh, and hoppers. Yeah, thanks. Okay, so now we can go back up there. How's our time? Okay, we're a little low on time, so we're not going to be able to finish this probably, but we can at least start it. So then what we can do is... Um, we don't actually need comparators now, I think about it. Because we're not really detecting if there are stuff inside of there. What we're doing is we're just having a clock that runs. Um, so we can do... Um, run a signal on top of that. Um, over to here. And over here. Into a repeater. That has a little bit of a delay on it. In fact, we'll add a little bit more of a delay. Because we don't have to go too quick. In fact, we might even add more more of a delay than that because we don't want we don't want them to like very quickly dispense a bunch of carts it's not really what we're after so we're gonna add even more delay uh, we'll need redstone torches uh, just uh, well, I guess we'll need a few actually click there we go um, so what we're gonna do uh, repeaters And then we'll do a repeater here. And then red and signal here. So now this is a very slow clock. Okay, so here the clicks. So that's that's the speed that it'll be going. What we're gonna do then. Oh I almost fell. <laughs> what we're gonna do is we need to run a signal up to here. So when um so there's going to be a tripwire hook that's down there that detects is the minimum set. If it is, it sends up a just redstone torch pillar coming up and then powering this to stop this clock. Uh, whenever there's not enough, then it will dispense it. So that's, that's the first part. Um, the default action on this, so when this is actually powered, okay, when this is actually powered, this thing is unpowered. Good. So then what we want is we're going to run... Um, so that, those chests right in there is where we're going to grab the other carts from. So that'll probably come sort of this direction. Underneath this, I think. Let's see. What's the easiest way to get it there? So it will come up a little bit underneath here. Oh, I guess I can just come, come across, snake over to the left here, and then go underneath that. So I'll build this backwards. Can we sprint onto this? Oh, we can't. Look at that. Um, we can't get onto that, though. That's fine. So we can do... Um, no, actually, we have to build it the other way. Because... Right. Because we want them all to point into... Point from here over to there. So we're going to snake this over. It's going to come over a few blocks. And then work its way over this way. So that's lined up right now with... Um, right below the granite block, which is actually the same over here. We have the same same pattern going all the way around. So let's get up. Uh, we'll go this way, I guess, to get up. So we can come this way. And get some blocks. So we're going to bring it into... Uh, I guess we'll do it this side. Um, and I guess we don't want to go all the way, because this is a approaching going outside of the, like, outside the surface. So we'll do one there, come back out this way, and we're okay. We're okay with all of our signals. Um, we'll do a furnace on top of that. Now this is going to go, uh, so do we have a furnace? No. We can make one, but we'll come back to it. So this is going to come up. To right below this granite, like we were talking about. Oh, uh, let's actually go a little bit lower. <laughs> um, so then this is going to go now across. Uh, we're going to go one more lower because when I put furnaces on top of this, I want, it'd be nice if I could walk on it. So then this line comes over here. Do, do, do. And then now that we're. Um, Oh, 
Let me think, what am I doing? Uh, right, so now once we're past this thing, then we can go higher up. So we're here, uh, and we're not, we don't have any signals coming across. So then now this is lined up with what? So is this lined up? Yes. We can go uh, one higher. Then we can go one higher. Okay. So then this will come over this way a little bit, and then come over one, and then connect up. Um, so now we can pop down here, build this this direction. Oop. So now, any chest minecarts that are put into this chest will go down, through there, snake down there, and then go into the thing. Yeah, just in time. <laughs> yeah, just in time for the end of the stream. Welcome, welcome, Black Belt Crafter. Um, okay, so now we have that in place. We should grab some furnaces before we forget, because this, this is a multiplayer server with content creators. And so if I leave a bunch of extra lag producers um, for a week, uh, actually two weeks, because I'll be I'm not streaming next week, then people might be sad. So let's let's <laughs> let's uh, put some furnaces over those um, over those guys before we forget. Uh, we don't. It's not fully set up yet. The rest of the mechanism for that, but it's a start. So then we can put these on top. Um, where's your wheelchair? I don't know what you mean. Um, I don't actually. I feel like you're just a troll. And I, I feel like you're, uh, you might not be a troll. You might be a troll. We'll see. Okay. Um, now if we go, oh, like that. We need to do is get over to those. I think if we come on this side, we can get over there pretty easy. Yeah. So those need to go on top. Uh, which station? Is? This is the main basket rail station. So what I'm doing is um, the we come over here. Um, I'm adding extra signs here, so they're extra carts. So this is for extra chest mine carts. So if if the minimum amount is not reached for chest minecarts in the system, this thing will dispense them in. Um, so you can put them there to refill that. If you happen to have extra minecart rail tokens, you can put them in there and then those will move into the regular mechanism for, uh, like it'll run through all those. Anything that doesn't, it goes through all that and then doesn't match up will go into lost and found. So this is, I've had like three or four chests that were all down there for a long time. So now that those all get filtered up to the top uh, via a kind of leg producing item elevator, but it works uh, over and then into there. So right now we're, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So then we come over here, we put in these guys. So we go like that. Then we can light this up. And then we want to make sure we light up the top area as well. Oh, we did that already. Good. So now, uh, we so the rest of it isn't it isn't quite all set up, but all those items that drop into there will end up in here. So right now, just a couple hoppers. Oh, and we have this one right here. Ooh. And we can put a uh, block on top just to fill it in. So now this clock here, right now it's not running because I have this torch here, but the idea is that I have a tripwire hook somewhere down the line here. Um that will detect the minimum spot and then if there are ever any uh any less than that then it will send a torch pillar up and will dis uh it'll it'll allow this hopper or this uh clock to keep on running and it will dispense uh chest mine carts out of this so i need to make chest mine carts and so on uh, but that is nearly actually all of it we accomplished more today than i thought we were going to accomplish <laughs> um so what i can do is update the sign up top on our to-do list because now we've accomplished most of what we need for this particular part. Let's get rid of some stuff in our inventory so we have room. Okay, so they, we did this one here. So last and found, chest cart drop off and uh, token drop off in basket station. So now all we need to do is finish chest cart drop off in basket station. So. Finish 
um, chest, minecart, drop off in basket, Oop. basket, station. There we go. So now next time we come in, we can finish that at some point. So that is that's the uh, task it list, uh, cleverly named by Jinjibandi. <laughs> but that'll be the end of the stream. Hope everybody enjoyed watching. Thank you.